Hi, I'm Andy Calvinis, Vice President of Technology for Wheatstone Corporation. I'd like to tell you about our WheatNet IP system. Our system for IP audio is more than just a basic network for transporting audio from point A to point B. Our engineers designed a system with a great deal of additional functionality built in. This is a blade, which is at the heart of our WheatNet IP system. A blade is an IP network portal or connection point where audio sources, control surfaces, control interfaces all connect to the IP network. Each blade has a fully loaded toolkit of broadcast audio mixing, control, and processing functions for live television. Each blade has the onboard intelligence to operate completely on its own or to join together with others to create an extensive network. Each blade has a control layer that it can share with all the other blades on the network. Having an extensive toolkit, a built-in intelligence, and a network-wide control layer is a huge time saver. Here is a partial list of the audio processing and mixing resources built into every blade. Every broadcast engineer will need to use these in an IP network. To manage all of these audio tools, Here's a list of some of the control resources we have available in our blades. You can see we've built in a lot of ways to control or manage audio. We can save you a lot of time and effort by having these already integrated in. The really cool thing is when you realize that you can use any of these control functions to manage any of the audio tools. You're not stuck with doing things just one way. Let's take a look at just one aspect that's important to broadcasters, mix minus creation. You can send a mix minus feed to a talent's headset by direct router control, by automation commands, by a logic from a push button somewhere, by making an associated connection somewhere. There's lots of ways that you can accomplish the same goal. We can create what we call an associated connection. When you turn on a field reporter's microphone, a mix minus can automatically be sent back to the field reporter's headset. You can manually route a mix minus connection directly from any one of our numerous control panels or software applications. You can have a mix minus feed generated automatically from a logic control function. An automation system can send the mix minus feed to the correct location at the correct time talking to our WheatNet IP system. I think you get the idea. You can manage mix minus creation a number of different ways. The same is true for the other items in our audio toolkit. By combining the many functions we have in our control layer with the audio processing and mixing tools we have available, engineers are coming up with new ways of doing things that would have been impractical without WheatNet IP. A really important part of the WheatNet IP system is the distributed intelligence we've built into the network. Rather than having the network management intelligence centralized in a computer somewhere, we've distributed it throughout every blade in the network. This gives us several advantages. First, every blade is a point of redundancy as it stores the entire system configuration on board. Second, adding a new location to your network is plug and play WheatNet IP blades talk to each other and automatically integrate a new member into their network. System expansion is simple. Adding another blade automatically adds more control resources, audio mixing and processing tools, and more intelligence. And if you're thinking further down the road about adding some other functionality not built into WheatNet IP, WheatNet IP is AES67 compatible. Our WheatNet IP system integrates control surfaces, I.O. devices, mix engines, and control panels, as well as numerous software applications for automating, scheduling, metering, and controlling your IP audio system. We have an extensive list of third-party partners that have integrated their products into WheatNet IP. We're very proud of our WheatNet IP system and would love to talk to you about it. Thanks for watching.